Welcome to the Mizzou Health News Network, your source for information about medical care, education, and research at the University of Missouri. Car accident victim Nathan Roberts and his mother returned to University Hospital in May to thank MU Healthcare Trauma, Intensive Care, and Rehabilitation Specialists for his remarkably successful treatment and recovery. The 22-year-old MU student had broken bones, skull fractures, and a severe concussion when he arrived at the hospital's Level 1 Trauma Center and Intensive Care Unit in February. His brain injury was significant. Uh, he required us to actually uh, do a tracheostomy and a feeding tube to separate him from the ventilator. And when he left here just six weeks ago, uh, he didn't follow commands, he couldn't walk, um, he had difficulty performing what we would think as very routine and mundane tasks. And I think he's a testament to what an organized system of trauma care what level one trauma centers provide as far as an opportunity for recovery. The fact that he got timely and state-of-the-art care for his brain injury, early fixation of his long bones, and aggressive rehabilitative therapy is why we see the Nathan that we see today who's determined to get back to just like he was before his injury. We had an amazing experience here. Um, the nurses were just phenomenal. They were supportive and compassionate. Um, they were there with to answer questions when I had them. I think they answered questions I didn't know I had at the time. You know, they walked us through and they were just so professional and friendly and caring about it. The Vice Chancellor of Student Affairs came, his professors came, the head of his department came and I and continued to stay in touch with us and make sure we were okay and um, extended help that I just didn't expect and it was very touching. So, we appreciate that too. I'm doing great, so thanks to everyone who helped me out. Institute of Medicine member and MU Family Medicine Program graduate, Dr. Robert Phillips, was presented with the MU Medical Alumni Organization's highest honor, the Citation of Merit, at a ceremony in St. Louis. Eight other graduates and supporters of the university's medical school were also recognized at the annual Alumni Awards event. I'm very proud to be a Missouri Tiger. I wave my Missouri Tiger tail everywhere I go, and that's no lie. Um, and I just want to say that you can't take the you can take the girl out of Missouri, but you can't take Missouri out of the girl. Ninety-seven new physician alumni received medical degrees from MU at commencement in May. More than forty-five percent of the class of two thousand fourteen will stay in Missouri to train as resident physicians, and twenty-five percent will stay at MU. And I will leave you with one final thought. Never forget your motivations for becoming a physician. Be humble and always thank your loved ones. Thank you guys and congratulations. Nutrition expert Dr. Elizabeth Parks is the new Associate Director of MU's Clinical Research Center. Part of MU's Institute for Clinical and Translational Science, the center will benefit from her expertise in transforming discoveries made in laboratories into better care for patients. The purpose of the Clinical Research Center at Missouri is to provide an environment with sophisticated facilities and equipment so that individual investigators can focus on measuring health and uh, disease mechanisms in humans. My role as the Associate Director of the Clinical Research Center is to help facilitate the use of the center. The unique features at the Clinical Research Center at the University of Missouri include a state-of-the-art metabolic kitchen. We know exactly the weights of things and the volumes of liquids that we feed people, and that's really important when you're doing nutrition studies and you want to look at the response to a meal. We also have an exercise facility where we can measure fitness uh, in, in multiple ways. There are individual rooms where people can stay overnight and we can do sleep studies as well. I have been trained at and worked at five universities in my career and this really stands out as the place where the most amount of people are willing to work together across disciplines. It's really refreshing to be surrounded by people who are willing to say, I can help you do that. Can you help me do this? And uh, through that environment, I think we're, we're poised to make some really major discoveries over the next 10 years. 
Child health specialists thank the Lita J. Sears Trust for giving another $500,000 to pediatric research at MU. The trust now has provided $1.2 million in philanthropy to scientists studying autism, diabetes, obesity, and other conditions that affect children. I hope uh, that it will mean that they get better care, critical care, learned care that they won't have to go to St. Louis or Kansas City, but can stay near their home and get the best care possible for their condition. To learn more about medical care, education, and research at the University of Missouri, visit us on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter.